And this is our top story on ABC News Breakfast today. World leaders have reacted cautiously to the death of North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. North Korea's neighbours remain on alert, fearing the death could lead to instability in that isolated country. Mr Kim's youngest son, Kim Jong-un, has been named as his successor. China correspondent Stephen McDonnell has travelled to South Korea and speaking from Seoul, he says the population there is wary of the North's new leader. South Korea's President Lee Myung-bak has called for calm and for his people just to go about their daily lives as they normally would. And here in Seoul this morning, that's pretty much the order of the day. You might expect people to be celebrating, to be happy that Kim Jong-il has died. After all, he's given this country so much grief for decades. But more, there's a sense now of the unknown, of what may happen, because nobody knows what will become of this new leader, of Kim Jong-un. He's in his 20s. He's in control of a pretty paranoid country with nuclear weapons. And that's only about an hour's drive up the road behind me. So. It's just not known what's going to happen next. In Pyongyang, we've seen these signs of uh, images of people weeping, of crying. Uh, but, you know, the degree to which that's genuine is hard to gauge. Nevertheless, that's what's being shown on television there pretty much around the clock. In China, they're talking about the loss of a, of a dear leader, of a great friend. The United States, well, it's been asked by South Korea to upgrade its surveillance for example the flights that are going over North Korea and you know watching from above what's going on and also satellite monitoring troops here have been placed on high alert because South Korea is not going to take any chances uh, you know at the moment this could be a time where you might see some sort of conflict there's been one report for example that North Korea was testing missiles off its east coast uh, and yet it's been uh, question as to whether or not this has anything to do with that country's leader dying. The other thing that worries people is that any hope that North Korea might open up with this new leader might actually be wrong. It might be full on. In fact, it might go the other way because there's one possibility that a new leader has to flex his muscles, that maybe he's going to have to be the strong man and that this might lead to even more tension in this region. Our China correspondent Stephen McDonald speaking from Seoul there. In the next few minutes, we're going to bring you some analysis from international security expert Dr Jim Walsh. He's from MIT in Boston, and he, as a number of other people, have been involved in some high-level behind-the-scenes meetings with officials from North Korea. So that's coming up very shortly.